Faller by escaping over the top or through the cage door and planting two feet on the ground. But with these superstars, it's impossible to say which way it'll end. Well, that's why the WWE Universe loves a steel cage match. So many ways it can end. I've seen superstars use a steel door as a weapon, get their face slammed into the steel mesh, and get knocked down from the top. Time will tell here. Yeah, I'm always interested to see a superstar's approach. Are they going to play defense and knock their opponent off the walls? Are they going to attack and try to scramble out of the ring themselves? There are so many options on the tape. There may be a lot of options, but when you're locked in a steel cage with a superstar looking to take your head off, none of them are good. It might go without saying. Uh oh, he could be looking for submission here. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Up on the shoulders, hands locked, the torture rack doing its damage. Sharp jabs to the back of the skull, and he's out of the submission. All wrapped up. Picture perfect. Fireman's carry. Ooh, stinging kick. Oh, catastrophic damage on the back. He takes control. Gut wrench. Ooh, stiff punch. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. And misses on the springboard. What disrespectful, my gosh.